Hi everyone, you're about to watch a really simple video guide to routing the Samsung Galaxy S3 on mobile network comparison. Okay, so first of all, I'm just going to show you that this phone is not currently routed to prove that what we're going to do to it actually makes a difference. So I'm just downloading a quick app called Route Checker. It's a free app. It's easy to find on the Play Store, and this just verifies whether or not your phone is currently rooted. So we just install it, accept the terms, wait for it to download. And now it's installed on the phone. I can open it. Right, so it's coming up now. I'm just going to agree to this quickly. You don't have to. Hit OK. And we can just press the verify root button. You can see at the top we're running Android 4.3 on the GTI 9300, which is the Samsung Galaxy S3. Clearly the phone does not have root access right now. So the next step is to boot it into download mode, ready for flashing the file which is going to root it. So you hold down the power key to turn it off. And then the way to boot this phone into download mode is really simple. We need to press the volume down key, the home key, and the power key simultaneously when we turn the phone on. So I'm going to hold the volume down and the home key while I press the power key to turn it on. And there we are. Just hit volume up to confirm we want to go into download mode. And we're ready to start flashing across the routing file. So I'm going to go over and set up the computer now. OK, so once you've downloaded and extracted the CF auto root zip file, you should have a tar.md5 file somewhere on your computer and then you can also boot your phone into download mode and you're ready to flash across the root file to root your phone using Odin. So we are using Odin 3.07 simply right click and go run as administrator and then Odin 3.7 will pop up. Check that you have auto reboot ticked and also F reset time and then we're going to click the PDA button here is the auto root file that I extracted earlier. Just simply double click that to select it. The messages will come here. It's finished successfully, so the MD5 hash has been verified and we're ready to start. So now we just take the phone that's in download mode and plug it into the computer. You should see this added message here as long as your USB drive is installed correctly and we can see that we're using the COM5 port and we're ready to hit start. Okay, so while this is flashing across, it's going to take a couple of minutes, so I'm just going to quickly fast forward through it. As this is happening, you'll see some notifications and messages and commands flash across the screen on your phone. And now the phone is rebooting. And I'm also just going to skip ahead here while the phone boots up. Maybe you can hear the Samsung sound as the phone boots up again. And my phone is ready. I'm just going to go switch over to the camera to show you whether it has been rooted or not. Just note here that when the process has finished completely, you'll see that there's this big green pass in the top left and it will say all threads have completed. So now we're back in the phone. We've got Super SU installed automatically and let's just check what root checker says. So verify root. What it's going to do is ask Super user to grant it Super user permissions to check the root. And there you go. Congratulations, this device has root access. So it's really that simple. Please subscribe, like this, and if you have any questions or queries, leave a comment below. In the meantime, please do check out some of our other mobile phone videos and let us know what you want to be seeing next on Mobile Network Comparison.